Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back. And it was really sad to hear yesterday about Scott Murray and uh, how he died. His funeral was yesterday. It was online on YouTube. But um, just first off, uh, condolences to his parents. Like I've I have five kids. I can't imagine one of them going before me. So that's, I mean, that's really sad. And if I don't expect them to watch this, obviously, but I'll be praying for y'all. That's, um, it's really tough. But for those of you who don't know, Scott is, or was a fitness YouTuber. He made lots of videos on cutting, shredding diets, all this type of stuff, really high volume, low calorie recipes. I first found out about him through Greg Doucette's power 13 cookbook. Cause he was in that. And, uh, Star watching some of his videos has some really good meal options that taste good and they're quite filling. Oh, gosh, I guess like four or five months ago, he just randomly started watching my videos. Like I've got on here, you can see it's four, it was five months ago now, but you know, we just changed over to March. But like all these videos he was watching of mine, these are just all the comments on my channel that I've had from him. So I thought, you know, I'll, uh, DM him on Instagram. Then we started talking on Instagram and just became pretty good friends like over the last four or five months. And you know, I haven't, obviously there's no point in me saying, Hey, everyone on YouTube, I'm friends with Scott Murray, but it was just sad to see that happen. Like we, uh, not just talking about videos and stuff, but all kinds of random things. Like we we're joking around. We were talking about how Jesse James West's videos have been getting kind of cringy over the past year. And he sent me screenshots. It made me laugh. Thought of you straight away. You know, we talked about all kinds of stuff, cars, like what kind of cars we liked, things we want to do. I was actually planning on going to um, Ireland sometime this summer, now that restrictions are starting to let off in a lot of places because my uh, job takes me to Europe a lot and it would have been super easy to get together. We were talking about hanging out, making some videos, doing that type of stuff. I was looking forward to it, but... Um, yeah, I actually, it was sad how I found out too, because like this video of his, he made back in November, this cloud bread pizza. I've been meaning to try it out because I really like pizza and I like trying different recipes and you can see here I commented right when he posted it back then. But um, he, uh, or I made that video, gosh, it was, I sent him a picture of it on February 21st. So he had died a couple days later and said, hey, just made your pizza, you know, putting a video out soon. And um, I sent to my editor, it was done after a few days. And I had it scheduled to post on the first, and he never wrote anything back, which I didn't think much of it, because, you know, he's a busy guy making videos. I'm busy with all my kids, my job making videos, and it's, um, you know, pretty big time difference between here and Ireland. We just randomly, you know, talk back and forth. But, um, yeah, so I didn't really think anything of it. And then I had my video, scheduled to post yesterday on March 1st. Um, I always schedule them. I have my videos up a week ahead of time in some cases, which this one's been up on my channel for a while. And I had it scheduled to post on March 1st at 7 a.m. And that was, um, I was on a plane going from Alaska to Seattle. And I landed and pulled it up and started going through the comments and saw people saying, I'm guessing you didn't know he passed away last week. And I was like, seriously? And I started looking up a bunch of stuff and it turns out like his funeral service was started like at the exact same time that I posted my video. And I was thinking, oh great, now it looks like I'm trying to, you know, get views off of what just happened to him, but that's not the case. I took that video down. I'm going to put it back up later, maybe next month or something like that. I don't want it to look like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the video. I just don't want it to look like I'm trying to get views off of what happened to him. And also like, I want to let people know, like I actually know the guy and we've been talking and stuff for a while, but to me, I feel like, you know, that's, an honor to his memory to, to put the video out just to show, hey, this is what he did and show more people his channel. But um, I don't know anything more than anyone else does about what happened to him. I mean, obviously it's obituaries online that says, you know, heart failure, he was making dinner and he died. And uh, I just wanted to bring up in this video too, like, the things you can learn from like, yeah, he's got a lot of good stuff on the channel about how to lose weight as far as cutting lots of good recipes to help you with that. But what's the whole point of fitness of weight loss and all this stuff. It's 
to be healthy, right? Because to me, when I talk about weight loss stuff and recipes, I'm looking at it in the sense of, okay, you're at a place where maybe you're overweight, maybe you're obese, you're unhealthy. And the idea is to use these tricks to get you to a healthy place. So you'll be healthy, right? Not to get looking like Mr. Olympia on stage because those guys aren't healthy. Like once you're getting down below, you know, 10, 8% body fat for most people, I mean, you're getting into an unhealthy range to try to get like that and maintain it. So if that's your ideal physique, you need to rethink like, why do I want to look like this? Because the whole point is to get to a healthy level. Like the people that compete on stage, what happens afterwards, they gain weight back to get to a healthy level and not stay at that because it's unsustainable. It's not good for you. It's not good for your health. It's really stressful on your body. And you know, Scott, he's known as being a really shredded guy all the time and always trying to get super lean and really cut. And it takes its toll after a while, um, especially if you keep pushing harder and harder. And he did crazy amounts of cardio, which I'm all about doing some cardio, but not just that I can eat more, just for the health of my heart. That's what I talk about on my channel is being healthy. That's the point of everything I do. So just whatever your fitness goals are, just evaluate them and think to yourself, is this to get me to a healthy place or am I just trying to look a certain way that I don't actually realize isn't even healthy to be like that? So the only person putting pressure on yourself is yourself to put pressure on you. So if you're thinking like, oh, I want to look all ripped and crazy because that's going to make me happy. It, it's not. You're going to get to that point and realize, okay, well, cool. I look good, but now what? You know, what's next? Like a lot of people don't think, well, what do I do after the fact? I got to how I want to look. Now, is my life perfect? No. If you had other issues or family problems or relationships with other people or job issues, it's not going to be fixed by the way you look. Like you need to be happy with yourself regardless of how your body looks. I mean, I met my wife when I was in, uh, I was a teenager, I was in college and I didn't have muscles. I mean, I wasn't overweight or underweight or anything. I was just a normal dude and I got pictures. I got like small arms, not much muscle, all this stuff. And I just started working out and I wanted to look a certain way, but she doesn't care. Like she married me because of who I am and she doesn't mind me doing this stuff, but she also wants me to be healthy. And she's told me before, you're getting too skinny when I was cutting before, like, I like you better how you were. So you got to think who you're trying to impress with how you're trying to look. Um, cause really you're probably the only one who really cares about you looking a certain way. If you get great abs and all these muscles popping, no, I mean, some people might say something like, Oh, that's, you know, you're looking good. That looks cool. But at the same time, like you're really the only one who really cares about being that way. So I just want to make this to say like, you know, his channel is great. He's got lots of stuff to help people, but you also have to learn from his example of what happened. And the goal is to be healthy. I mean, to me, that should be the goal of like any fitness channel is to help people get to a healthy place. And if what you're doing isn't making your life better and making you healthier, then just reevaluate, reevaluate what you're doing. So, you know, Go watch more of his channel. I'll have it linked in the description here. I'll probably, you know, sometime in the next few weeks, put out the video that I made um, that I put out yesterday. I just put it back to private on my channel for now and I'll repost it or go public again later on. Cause it's, I mean, it's a good video. It's fun. And I just talked about how I learned this recipe from him and it's good and um, a good way to eat pizza still and lose weight if you want or maintain your weight without feeling like terrible because you ate a lot of greasy, nasty pizza. And it's actually healthy, lots of protein, that type of stuff. But overall message is just evaluate your life, see what you're doing, be healthy. You never know what's going to happen. Be right with God and just look at what's important in your life and try to make that a priority. Don't worry so much about your image and your body. Just be happy with who you are and try each day to do something that makes you a little more healthy. It's small steps, that's all it takes. You don't have to do stuff that's extreme, just one step at a time.